Happy Tears Day. Let's talk about Spring's Hope, our gathering we had at the weekend. So at the weekend we had a well probably a first gathering for the for this new year which was great. Um camping for the weekend, had some things planned. The weather wasn't its best, shall we say. Um <laughs> Friday night has probably the probably been the most disappointing I've had for trying to make fire because I can normally I mean we got fires going but the firewood on the campsite was so wet it was just it it didn't endure and it, and it made for a slightly disappointing night to begin with for the first night um, but we still had a good time we made the best of it uh, <laughs> So, obviously, was not going to be making that mistake for the following night. So Saturday we had our plans made that we was going to Cauldron Long Barrow to um, take part in the open ritual, sort of hosted by Kent Gorsed. Uh, we went shopping before then to get supplies and dry firewood. So, like I say, come Saturday evening we wouldn't struggle in the same way. Um, the ritual at Coldrum was fantastic, really enjoyable experience. Um, we took some offerings and we planted some bulbs, sort of, just sort of near the entrance to the barrow. Something that we'll go back to look at, um, probably come the summer solstice to see if uh, they've taken it was still, the weather was still a bit moist, shall we say. Um, but then we went back to the campsite and, and the weather changed. Um, we did joke that we'd unlocked spring, so that was good. Uh, and we generally had a nice afternoon, evening. We'd, kind, you know, we'd got sort of a, a big leg of lamb, which we cooked fantastic took in some just really enjoying nature really sort of early evening we had a bat flying overhead that was interesting to see and come night time it was a clear sky so one of the great things about the campsite we use is it is good for stargazing and uh, and obviously you get a certain amount of uh, noises through the night and that of uh, local animals. It's a bit of a restless night, I guess. Um, and then it started raining again, etc, etc. And then, and then it was Sunday. Um, again, went to get some more firewood because used up. Used it all up really Saturday night because we was having a good time, a good drink and talking about stuff. Uh, went to get some more, we had a good breakfast then. Um, the other people that had turned up sort of had to leave and they went home. And sort of in closing, me and my wife Jade, we did like a closing ritual. Giving our thanks to the Land Whites ancestors and the gods and we also planted some bulbs in the camp right as, long, as well as making some offerings and then the weary pack down and probably the most depressing part of, of camping for a weekend which is loading the car up and going home um, it was nice to get home and to chill out but come the evening we're very tired well, I was anyway I was just that sort of quite done but it had been 
a great weekend with a lot of promise and a lot of sort of new motivation which already started to enact so that sort of come our, our summer solstice gathering other gatherings that sort of will do this year hopefully they'll have a lot more momentum and a lot more people sort of feeling comfortable coming to join us and, and participate so yeah it was a it's been a very very good week i think i feel so it's all good and that's are there any other things I can sort of go into? I don't, I don't think I really need to. It's just that sort of... We do our best to be good hosts and strive to be good guests on the land where we can. And that's, that's really important. Um... And we just sort of uh, look forward to the next time we have a gathering and enjoy the company that is had. That's about it for now. Hope to see you soon. Do take care. Goodbye.